What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here at the potion shop. So today we're talking about Sun Wuko, uh, or the uh, Wukong class, right? Now, there was an image that got put it up on Reddit recently. Here it is. And this image basically said that they data mined a new class Wukong. But can we really trust this? So today we're going to go through and break this down and say what we can believe, what we can't believe, and we're also going to present our own evidence of why I personally believe there is a new class on the way in the near future. So here we go. First, we'll start off with the image that we have up here in the top left hand corner. This is a picture of Sun Wukong and of Sun Wukong, uh, we can find this easily on the web if we do a quick little search. So we can see here, this is the original image. And this was found on the Sun Wukong biography page on Fandom. So we can find here all sorts of different things. We can find his weapon, some flavor text, how he was born, how he was raised, a lot of stuff here. So we cannot trust this image here. And this flavor text also is very similar to what you'd find on the web. It doesn't mention anything about Black Desert Online or Port Rat or the Kingdom of Hasso. So this is also probably something that is just here because the people who made this believe this would better represent what these abilities are, what these weapons could be and stuff. And they want, they're trying to convince you that this is a Wukong class. So why do they think it's a Wukong class? Well, they think it's a Wukong class because there's one sound effect, right? PC, SFX, SFX sound, stands for sound effects. And one of the sound effects is named Wukong. And then there's also a PMAC file here. This has monkey. And so these are the two things that are uh, convincing them that this is a Wukong class. And if you look at some of the abilities in here, they have um, abilities that would uh, fit the theme of a Wukong type class, right? Uh, cloud rotation, avoid, air move, stuff like that. So, what can we actually trust? Let's go back to that again. What can we actually trust? Well, we can trust this image down here in the bottom right-hand corner, but that has nothing to do with a data mine. This image here came from Calthium Ball 2020. This image was told to, to us by the developers that it's a teaser image for an upcoming class that they are still working on. So, what would this be? Is this gonna be Sage? Because Sage came out after this. This is obviously not Sage. Uh, if you look at this, is this Corsair? This is obviously not Corsair. So that means that this is still a class that's in development that we don't have released yet. So this is very possible. This could be uh, Sun Wuko, right? We have a sun here. Uh, you know, the Monkey King was known to be trapped by Buddha underneath um, a mountain on his right hand and a mountain on his left hand and a mountain on, uh, on the back of his head. And he was fed by a copy of Buddha or something like that. So you can read through some of the stories and this would make sense for that kind of theme of a Wukong class. And you can also see up here in the top right that there is a little um, Eastern style building um, you know, or Asian style building, right? And so that kind of reinforces that this could be a Wukong theme. Now that's a speculation, uh, but it, it would match that theme and it would also match a fire theme, which I'll mention is fairly important uh, and we'll, we'll tell you why in a little bit. All right, so this is the, uh, that's that image. Now, what else we have here? If you look in here, we also have, um, what can we, what can, we need to distinguish what can we trust, what we cannot trust, right? So we have, we can't trust the image here in the top left. We can't trust the flavor text. We can't trust, this will be a fun class in parentheses, like where, you know, that's not, that's not data mined. Uh, culture of East Asia, uh, Hasso. Uh, Hasso, for you guys who don't know, is the Port Rat region across the Great Ocean. Uh, but again, we can't trust that. That's not data mined. The things we can trust is these little uh, PAC files. These are actual files that are in the game. These are typically like 3D models from what I can tell. I don't know a lot of coding or file formats, but I looked it up online and it looks like these would be file formats for uh, models in the game. So that would make sense. And uh, PAA files seem like we can trust these. Uh, these are typically files that are generic files in programming, um, and it would be they could easily be used for a, a programming an ability. So yeah, it seems like we can trust the sound effect, uh, the PMAC file, and the PAA file. Uh, we cannot trust you know here this awakening weapon is obviously has a capital W, and this question mark question mark question mark is 
just means that they put that in there themselves. That's not something that the developers did. So we can trust this, and that means that there probably is a class in development. Um, and can we find any other evidence out there for a class being developed, right? Well, if we go to the earnings call of quarter three earnings 2021, uh, you can re there's a 43 minute voice call that's in Korean and there's also a earnings uh, attachment file, right? So we can look at that and that basically tells us that there is coming out a Chinese mobile version. BDM stands for Black Desert Mobile and they're planning on releasing um, Black Desert Mobile in China. So a Wukong class would make a lot of sense here. Uh, we can also see here that they're planning on doing the Calthium Ball as upcoming content. Um, they're doing a Sage class for Black Desert Mobile. Uh, so this is not a new class, right? This is uh, this is Black Desert Mobile is getting a new class, Sage, and it's already out on uh, Black Desert Mobile. So we already know about all this stuff here. All these things here, all four of them, we are already aware of as player base. Um, but I think this Black Desert Mobile going to China is fairly interesting, and a Wukong class would reinforce um, the idea that this could be a real possibility, right, with the, with the going to the Chinese region. So, if we go back here again, we also have skills. Well, can we find these skills anywhere else? Well, there's two data mining websites. There's BD Codex and there's BDO um, Database. So, if we go here, we can actually look through the abilities and we can see that there are abilities for Corsair. And then after that, there's abilities for Sage. And then after that, there's abilities for uh, Nova. But there are no abilities in here for a Wukong class. So it is a little uh, questionable if we can, uh, if like, why would this one person be able to find these data mine files and the traditional way that BDO Codex finds it is not working. So I do find that a little strange. And uh, here's some concept art to show you what a Wukong class may look like. This was posted about a year ago on Bot Desert Reddit um, as some concept art that could be possible for Musa. And uh, I do think this would represent pretty well what a Wukong class may or may not look like in Black Desert Online. So let's continue on with other ways that we could see a new class coming to Black Desert Online in the near future. So first, um, we know that new classes typically come out with new seasons. Uh, Hashin came out with a new season. We had Nova come out with a new season. We had... Corsair come out with a new season. So a lot of classes are being released with new seasons. There was no season for Sage, so he didn't release with a season. All right, so when does the current season end? Well, the current season, Season Plus, and the Progress Pass. If you, if you scroll down to the very bottom of the Progress Pass, it says December 1st is the last day of the current season. And that makes sense because the... Let me see, there we go. Um... That makes sense because the last day of the season being the first is also a patch day. And we also have um, on the next season starting up in Korea, it's already confirmed that this season will be December 22nd. Now, that does not mean that NAEU SCA will also be getting it, but we have a new season starting December 22nd. And that would mean that if they're going to do a new class, it's about the right time to do it. Um, it's currently um, about halfway through November, so starting to hear the grumblings of a new class would make sense since we're so close to a new season. All right, what's another thing that we can look at? Well, another thing we can look at here is we can actually look at um, the dungeons. The dungeons are actually related to classes in Black Desert Online. Uh, Adaraxion has four different themes, and those themes are desert, ocean, canyon, and forest. And if we look at the images that they provide us, we can find this is a desert and we can confirm this because we have the desert dungeon. This is the ocean dungeon. We can confirm that. And there's several other images that they've given us that may be the canyon dungeon or the forest dungeon. But since we don't have it and the themes are fairly similar in design, right? This could be canyon or this could be forest. Uh, it's hard to distinguish which is which. But there are two more coming out in the near future, and we know Alesra will be the final boss of the final, the fourth dungeon. So if we see here, we have Sage, right? And Sage and Adaraxion go hand in hand. That means the class is paired with the dungeon. And if you look at Corsair, we can actually go through here and see that this is another dungeon that we don't have yet. And this would be the Canaan dungeon or maybe the forest dungeon. Hard to say which one this may be, but we don't have this right now. And again, the Corsair is tied to another dungeon. So, let's continue. 
What are some other ways we can actually verify that a class is about to come out? Well, a way we can do this is actually we have Guardian here, and this was announced at Calthium Ball 2019. And uh, they had a trailer that came out a few days beforehand. And then this is Hashin, and they had a teaser image for Hashin that was released a few days before the Heidel Ball 2020. And if you don't know what Calthium Ball and Heidel Ball are, those are basically where Pearl Abyss does announcements for the new content. Here at Calthion Ball 2020, we have Nova is announced, and her trailer came out a couple days before the actual Calthion Ball 2020. Then we have Corsair, and Corsair again, we talked about that before, but she was she had her trailer a few days before the Hydro Ball. And so now we know that Calthion Ball is going to be happening on December 11th. That means that is very likely that we are going to be having a class actually announced a few, uh, or a trailer a few days before December 11th. They'll talk about the new class on December 11th during the Calthium Ball. And we also see here that they have some new content planned. This is actually looks like the, uh, the water inside of Calthion City, which is this image here, it's actually frozen. So it seems like they're going to have some uh, more interesting news with that as well. And I think that's pretty interesting. Well, that's a lot of things there, right? Uh, we can see that there's some data mine files. We can verify that it's the right time to release a class based on the season, based on uh, dungeons, and based on the uh, release date here of um, this, you know, Calthion Ball being around the corner. And every time they have one of those, they announce a new class typically. Now, the final way I would actually show this off is actually uh, Black Desert Online. Now, they have an item in Black Desert, uh, which is called the Spectre's Energy. And Spectre's Energy actually has um, Spectre's Energy actually has four different elements. It has uh, lightning, it has water, it has fire, and it has a seed of darkness, um, which is void. And so that's four different elements there. And we see Sage matches up with lightning, Corsair matches up with water, and then that would leave a fire class and a void class as well. And we also know the dungeon. So we have Elvia. Uh, which is kind of like the Hadoom storyline. We have the dungeons, which is like the uh, Hadoom, part of the Hadoom storyline. And we have four classes that are part of the Hadoom storyline also. We have two classes so far. That means there's two on the way. I really think this is very possible for this to be a fire type class or a uh, void type class. I think it's very, very possible for that. It's most likely to be also be a male class because if we go back and look at these, right? The way they've done this is they do female class, then they announce a male class, then they announce a female class, and then they announce a uh, male class, which was Sage, and then announce the female class, which was Corsair. So the next class that would most likely be a male class. Um, hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight uh, on why there's very likely to be a new class coming out in, in the near future. It might be a little bit of a stretch to call this a Monkey King class or a Wukong type class, but with the data mine files, it does seem like it is pointing in that direction. Time will tell what is really true. I'd like to know um, if there's any programmers, put a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this data breach because like uh, or this leak because you guys should be able to poke holes in this pretty easily if these files are not real at all. Um, and if you have a, if anyone else has opinions on what they think the next class could be, maybe a Mel Tamer class or a Monkey King type, type, type class, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you live at Potion Shop TV on Twitch. You can watch me there. I'll see you very, very soon.